Hi everyone, this is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Well, I went shopping at Timu. I couldn't resist. I wanted to check it out. So today I'm going to go over with you what I found, what my thoughts are, and let's get into this. The first thing I was really excited to try was this little portable washing machine. I have seen countless little mini advertisements for this and I thought that sounds too good to be true. So when this was on offer, I definitely jumped at it. It comes in a bo small box. What I didn't realize is it's foldable. So it's very compact. Perfect thing to take to a hotel room or on the road if you just need to wash some underwears or some lightweight clothing. It's definitely, at the most you could probably get three small t-shirts so this is this size t-shirt right here I think this is a large and I'm just showing you how it fits in the container to give you an idea you probably could get two of those in there or three small t-shirts you just start by unfolding it it's like an accordion you fill it up with water stick the power cord in and then you have a choice of a five minute wash I just put a bit of hot water in there and vinegar to wash this shirt because it really wasn't that dirty and I didn't want it to get too bubbly because I wanted you to be able to see what goes on underneath because there is a really pretty light there. Look at that. That is really pretty. And then there's a lid you can put on top to stop it from splashing you. But this is surprisingly strong. You can see it rocking and roll in there. I was really surprised. Now I went ahead and dumped the water out because I am wanting to get things done really fast. But they do have a little drain tube right here on the side. And of course, I got a new sink. It kind of sits up above my countertop. So I didn't have, you know, I didn't want to put it on the edge there, but if you want to slide it up to the edge, you can. Then they have that neat little spin thing that you click in there, it spins the water out. I went ahead and hand squeezed it to show you how much water is left and what you can expect, but all in all, great thing for traveling. So here's my next item, and this is my all time favorite out of this whole order. I did not expect that either. It was just a broom with a little um, pickup, oh gosh, dustpan, I guess. And the dustpan flips up like a bucket when you're, you know, you can kick it upwards so you can carry it like a bucket. The broom I discovered just recently after I made this video pivots so you can do it at different angles. And it's really easy to put together. I showed you the instructions. They're not really easy to follow. I didn't have good luck with most of the instructions that came with Team U products. They, except for maybe one item, they were all kind of, you kind of have to figure it out, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And there you go, look at that, it clicks in. And I just got new floors too. And I'm telling you that little comb thing at the bottom, when I sweep my cat for up, it takes it right out, so it's awesome. Next item on the list was this cool BPA-free microwave cover. So we're testing it here because what is so awesome about it is it has magnets, look at this. It sticks up at the top of your microwave. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. So you'll never lose your lid. You can take it off. Now, the only thing is if it's really steamy, you might want to take it out and dry it off before you store it like that, but great idea. Next item was an avocado um, cutter. Peeler. I'm not sure what this is. It's just a little tool. I washed it, dried it, and I went ahead, waited for my avocados to ripen up, and here we go. Now, I think I waited a little too long because it's been hot lately. We've been having heat waves. So the avocado is a little softer than it should be. If I had waited for the optimal ripeness where it was really firm, this would have worked perfect. But you just press it in like you see me doing there, like a spoon, and it literally slices the avocado into individual slices in one sweep. Again, great idea if you're into avocado toast or avocado on crackers or however you like to, rice cakes, however you like to eat your avocado. I try to eat one at least three times a week because it's got healthy fats, but great idea. And here's one of my thorns in my side. I have wanted one of these for so long, so I kind of knew what it was going to do, but what I didn't expect it is for it to work so good. And it came off so easy, it was phenomenal. And in the same line here, I ordered one of these because lately I've been having just frustrations with opening jars. And this also surprisingly easy, just awesome. So that is the end of my jar headaches and lid headaches, no problem. Next on the list are these solar lights. So they sent me these little bulbs, kind of balls on the end of these wires here. I thought they looked so pretty in the photos, but unfortunately these didn't work from the very get-go. They were broken, but I chose these sunflowers right here. Now, on the photos online, I honestly thought they were like plastic and the fake glass. I did not expect them to be like a silk flower, but I get so many compliments. I'm not kidding you. People have walked by and told me how beautiful these are. These are absolutely stunning at night. I have them all along the front of my house. Great purchase. 
next laundry baskets as you can see because we just moved I hadn't gotten around to getting a hamper yet that was kind of last on my list because we've been doing so much you know we bought it's not really a fixer upper but it definitely needed work so I haven't really invested a lot of, in a lot of things because I would knew I was getting new floors and I didn't want to have to move everything but here's oh I should honestly this is my second or third favorite thing I bought two more of those excellent laundry hampers and then here is an oil spraying thing I thought this would be fun when you're cooking I went ahead and put some of my organic olive oil in there just to try it out and this took some time in between I actually filmed this three days you know separated because I had to wash the inside it took a while for the jar you know, it's glass to dry out but again great product if you love to cook great way to get your oil on and these are garden gloves I bought these for fun just thinking that would make my life so much easier if I could just use my hands to dig holes so there you have it they're really strong I think they're gonna be great this is pretty self-explanatory it was a wine stopper and for all of you that get frustrated like me with that bubbling apple cider during Thanksgiving Christmas problem solved <laughs> I tell you I'm never gonna deal with that again and here is a cylinder I just thought this was neat and I want to try it it is an accordion type little um, funnel and why not it's a great kitchen you know extra that you can have that doesn't take up much room and I needed a garlic press so we're gonna try this out now my garlic clove is a little old although they came that way brand new we've got the green thing coming out which you can eat they say online but there you go it works like a normal garlic press garlic press excuse me I have no problems with that it worked great here's some bags for storing plastic bags for your food so I also wanted to try this. I got a lot of stuff, you guys. So we're gonna move quickly here. We're moving right along. I want to go ahead and test it out to see if it did in fact really work. And I shoved some plastic bags in there, pulled one out and voila, it did actually work. So I got two of these. I got one in yellow and one see-through one. And I might use it for different things. If you have any suggestions down below, leave a comment. But again, very fun product. Now here's one that I just bought on a whim. You can use it to put plastic bags on it for trash. And when we first moved here, I really could have used that. Not so much now, but again, good to know they exist. And a little lunchbox. I thought when I go out shopping, why not take some snacks? Insulated, as you can see, it's got that nice foil lining to keep things cool and it's very nice quality. Really happy about that. Again, prices were phenomenal. And here's a neat thing. This goes on top of your sink. So while I was waiting for my new sink, I went ahead and used this and I turned it, I don't know which way is right side up, but I chose this way right side up so I could dry my sponge on those little grooves and it worked great. And here is a laundry um, bag. Now, I've used these for years, but I honestly have never had one this thick with this good a quality. This really was a shock. I did not expect this. This is a really nice, thick, well-made, laundry little net basket you can put your delicates in as you saw i put my bra in there great thing to have for washing laundry and this is for like ties or belts or anything you want but in the theme of laundry i wanted to put it in my laundry room just to hang on to those socks where i'm always waiting for the second one to show up out of the black hole and i got a meat thermometer great meat thermometer i found out you can unscrew the top so you can wash the bottom separate from the water and of course there's your temperatures this little apron was going to be for my crafts but look right from the very get-go it was broken so the strap came off that's not gonna work that went in the trash unfortunately and here's a little towel rack now you've probably seen this in hack videos you guys can put this on the inside of the cupboard and hang your bottles like your cleaning products off but I wanted to show you I went ahead and used it for a dish towel but there's a lot of different uses for that for sure I needed an egg slicer so I went ahead and got one we're washing it up there I'm showing you how awful I am at peeling eggs it's really pathetic so my husband jumped in to save me <laughs> he's got skills his eggs always come out perfect so I let him go ahead and do the honor of cutting the egg and it worked great it went ahead and cut it into nice little even slices and I went ahead and got a heat resistant up to 400 degrees silicone spatula in a very thin size so that I'm not frustrated anymore trying to get things out of small jars that was becoming a headache for me and I got some shears for my kitchen as well I'm just showing you how I use them to cut chicken for a Mexican meal I was making and um, then now what's this this is a pulse oh this was fun 
This was fun. This is the one that had clear instructions, so much so that I decided to film it for you. This was great. My daughter-in-law had one of these during COVID and I had so much fun with them. I, I don't know, I just wanted one. When it was on offer, I thought, why not? And look, it's alive. <laughs> I love this. And again, very, very cheap prices at TeamU. So definitely you should check it out before you shop somewhere else just to see what's going on. And here I ordered a rug. I went ahead and put it temporarily in front of my kitchen sink to catch the water before my new floor. Really cute and furry. They sent me this sign as well and it looks beautiful on my front door, no complaints. And I ordered this fireproof, it's supposed to be fireproof waterproof bag to hold your important documents in. I haven't tested it for fire and water but it is supposed to be that. And I'm showing you all the different neat slots for credit cards, for papers, there's all kinds of little nooks and crannies and pockets. If it works for fire and water, it's absolutely great. If not, it will also make a great briefcase just to kind of have something else to store things in. And here's a vacuum, which I originally ordered for my craft room. I did not realize this was a pleasant surprise that this is actually a rechargeable one that you can plug into the wall. You don't have to deal with batteries. But I went ahead and gave this to my daughter because I bought one in between and she needed it a lot more than me. She has two babies, so <laughs> she said it works fantastic. And I ordered these. I can't remember if they're tea bags or coffee bags, but I thought they would be fun for like herbal infusions in my bathtub or coffee or tea, whatever, but they're just good to have around. Also got this for my daughter. She's showing it to you on her floor in her bathroom. Super cute little furry heart-shaped rug. And this one was a pleasant surprise. This sweater, I believe is like $25.99. Don't quote me, I, it's under $30, but this was absolutely gorgeous. It was, it has, it was thick. It was long, it was well done, you know, beautiful knit, um, not too heavy, not too thin. It looked exactly like it did. I mean, I'm giving you the thumbs up. I was really happy about this one. It looks exactly like it did off of the model right there. It was a replica. So I was really pleased with this. Super, super cute. Great purchase, lots of fun. So that's a wrap for today for my shopping at TeamU. It is definitely a fun store and worth checking out. There's gonna be some treasure hunting for sure, but when you find that treasure, you're gonna be really, really happy because there's some outstanding deals and they always seem to have coupons and lots of discount stuff. It's free shipping, free returns. You can't beat that. So check it out when you get a chance. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the show.